everyone, Joe for Jaspi's Hobbyland here. We are doing another Bowman Draft, 2017 Bowman Draft uh, Baseball Jumbo Edition. It's a four box random team break number 15. We're already on 15 of these. Thank you, everybody. Um, remember the combo teams right here. Orioles, Cubs are comboed. Cardinals and Nationals are comboed. And uh, here are the players involved in this break. Daniel going big on this one. Thank you, sir. Thanks, everybody. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize the list four times. One and a three. One, two, three, and four. Uh, Joe Johns down to a couple Eds. And then once again, three and a one, four times. One, two, three, and a one. Four times for the teams here. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot to mention this. TJ, who's in this break as well. Let me call out these first. TJ has been nice enough to give away a 2017 Winter Meetings hat from his adventures in Florida on behalf of the Tulsa Drillers. Joseph Johns with the Mariners. Rich with the Phillies. Daniel F., with the Orioles Cubs combo, Rich, you got the Pirates, Mike Koontz with the Rays, TJ, there he is, with the Red Sox, Joe Johns with the Giants, Daniel with the Padres, Nick LaPlante with the Twins, D Mac, you got the Mets, Brian with the Tigers, Ed with the Rangers, Mike with the Yankees, Daniel with the Reds, Astros, and Dodgers, Wolf with the Braves, Colin with the Angels, Daniel with your last spot, Mojo, Rockies. You also have the Royals and the White Sox. V with the Cardinals-Nationals combo. Josh Pruce with the Diamondbacks. Joe Fagundes with the Blue Jays. Chad with the Marlins. Daniel with the A's. And Ed with the last two, Indians and Brew Crew. Let's sort by team here. So at the end of the break, I'll randomize everybody's names. And someone will get a hat. It's a great-looking hat. Let me find that hat for you. Oh, here it comes. It's uploading. Where'd that hat go? Oh, there it is. There's the hat. Proof of life. So that's the. That's a pretty festive hat. I can't get over it. Like a, some sort of like New Orleans Mardi Gras hat, in my opinion. But that hat is being given away at the end of the break. So I'll put it right there so you, so you can get all hyped about that hat. All right, feel free to trade as well if you want to. Nobody's trading? Nobody wants to trade? While people are trading, let's figure out which uh, four boxes we're going to do. So let me bust open this case. Now, people were guessing the uh, the dice roll on this. TJ guesses two. Jordan Hope with five. Rich with three. Nino originally guessed seven, but then realized it was one die. He guesses six on the dice roll. All right. One, two, three for the top row. Four, five, six for the bottom row. I'm going to choose this one here. It's six. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's my Sharpie? I never have anything that I need here when I need it. And then I always have it when I don't need it. All right, so Nino gets, gets sorcerer, sorcerer bragging rights. So this bottom part cross out Brendan McKay's face will be for next time or for this time and that top row will be for random team number 16 which is already on the site all right looks like there's no trades so there is the list right there on a Thursday the 14th break 15 We'll give away this hat at the end. Thank you, TJ. It's from his adventures at the uh, winter meetings.
so special thanks to TJ for hooking us up with that little bit of swag there. I appreciate that, TJ. Thank you. All right. And good luck, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll randomize everybody's name at the end and the name on top. We'll get that hat and then I'll, I'll email you and you can exchange inf I'll exchange information with you and TJ and blah, 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 blah. And he'll get that hat to you. Don't worry, he's good for it. He's been around for years. All right. Good luck, folks. A lot, uh, lot of baseball action happening. I think a lot of relievers are being signed now. In baseball. Were there any other big deals that happened today? I, I didn't really pay attention to the news today. But I know Piscotti went to the A's. Ozuna went to the Cardinals. Pull up MLBTradeRumors.com. I know I've got the, I've got the game on the TV. I've got the Cavs Lakers game on the TV. I'm watching that, keeping an eye on MLBTradeRumors.com, doing the break or multi multi sports tasking. All right, so we're not shipping the paper, so we'll breeze through the paper here. Lower this just a tad. I guess so my hands can be in a more comfortable position. And our first autograph is Cade McClure for the White Sox. That'll go to Daniel F. Refractor autograph too, 265 out of 499. Nick, are you still Nick LaPlante, are you still having trouble with your feed? You could try uh, if you are, you can try uh, streaming at a higher quality. Sometimes YouTube may set it at a at a lower at a lower quality. We could, you could stream at 720, I think, for Jaspies. There's Peter Solomon. Oh, it's good now. Nice. Okay, and I also set the manual focus right to about here, so it may seem it is blurry back there, but that's just for so I can get these close-ups. Oh, is that 144? There, there we go. 327 at 399. Astros, Peter Solomon. That is your fourth. It's a fourth round pick. Wow. That was unexpected. Trevor Rogers, draft night. Insert autograph. That is strong. That goes to the Marlins. That'll be Chad with the Marlins. One out of 99. 13th overall. That is nice. There you go. And with the way the Marlins are selling off their team, that guy may that guy may be in the majors sooner rather than later. Is that is that a case hit, TJ? Might be considered a case hit. And usually, sometimes when we see an insert auto, we'll often see a bonus auto. So usually, we're expecting three per box. There could be a fourth. So. I think someone yesterday, I think it was Paul T who noticed that it's it seems as if there are uh, there's another auto right there. It seems as if there are uh, one box per case with a bonus auto. 109 out of 200, William Becerra for the uh, Mets. That'll go to Darren McKenzie and Hagen Danner for the Blue Jays. That'll go to Joe Fagundis. So it's already three autographs right there. Could be a bonus. More paper. There's Peter Solomon. 
paper parallel out of four ninety nine. Obviously, these paper parallels will ship. The just the regular paper cards will not ship. Oh, was there? I, I didn't even notice. If it was paper, I probably breeze right past it. Team Pro and TJ. Here the chrome. There it is. Bonus auto, and it's a nice one. The number one overall pick, Royce Lewis. Blue Wave Auto for the Twins. That'll go to Nick LaPlante. That's a big one, Nick. Forty-one out of one fifty. There it is. First overall. That's a great hit. That's an incredibly great hit. And that's a bonus auto too. Uh, no, there is not, Team Pro. I'll breeze through the paper. His paper base gets donated to the to various charities around here. Mainly the Boys and Girls Club of America will get some, and the kids that come into the store will often walk away with a handful of the, that paper base to take home, have fun with, introduce them to the hobby. Anderson Espinoza, that's a good one for the Padres. That'll be for Daniel F. and the Friars out of 150. Yeah, there are a lot of cards left. I wonder if there's going to be a fifth auto. Wow, there's another autograph. Tommy Doyle for the Rockies. There's five autos in this box, or four autos in this box. No, I'm sorry, that's five. Sorry, I can't even count. There's too many autos. There you go. For the Rockies, that'll go to Daniel F. in last spot, Mojo. I don't know why these guys were turned around, but... So this is paper. Purple paper, Justin Dunn out of 250, 187 out of 250. You know, DJ Remix, that's true. I think it's kind of generational, too. I think Boss Man says commons a lot. Um, I somehow, I, I didn't, printing plate, I, I, end up, I say both, I think. Trevor Clifton, printing plate, what a box. For the Cubbies. One of one printing plate for the Orioles and Cubs combo, Daniel F., all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. And the last bit. Another auto, maybe? There's Royce Lewis again. Wow. That's with a facsimile autograph. That's a that's a real short printed card. That's pretty big too. What a box, look at this. That is awesome, that Royce Lewis was great. Pretty nice. 
Congrats, Nick LaPlante. You can go through the rest of this break, Nick, stress-free. Yeah, Daniel, you had a you had a nice start too. Hey, you're welcome, Nick. Yeah, with well, the way things are going, Rich, we may see a super fractor in here. We haven't seen one of those yet. We've seen a couple printing plates, but we have not seen a one of one. We have not seen a super fractor as of yet. I'm sure it'll be pretty obvious, right? It'll have have that gold super fractory look. I hope. There was one year where they they made it really confusing, where it the the super the one of ones almost looked exactly like the the regular common cards, but base cards. It's pretty crazy, but hopefully it'll be pretty obvious. I'm sure it will be. I want to say it was like Pops Chrome Football or something like that, where the one of ones looked exactly like the the regular card. Sorry. All right, here we go. Next box. Brendan McKay's nice if we find his autograph or low number parallel somewhere. Matt Tabor for the Diamondbacks for Josh Pruce out of 399. You've never seen a rip card or a super fracture pulled, Todd? We've pulled some. You mean like live? I was going to say, I can, I can point you to some videos of stuff that we've pulled. Wow, nice Morgan Cooper. Refractor auto for my Dodgers. Daniel F. with a little Dodger Joe Mojo. Four oh five out of four ninety nine. Dodgers second round pick. There's Quinton Holmes out of 499 for the tribe. That'll be for Ed. Paper parallel. Is this my chrome stack? Yeah, it's my chrome stack. Uh, Cole Reagans, purple chrome for Ed, 183 out of 250. And a nice Kyle Wright autograph. That goes to the Braves. That goes to Wolf. There you go. That's your fifth overall pick in the 2017 draft. That's right. Kevin Merrill. 138 out of 499 paper for Daniel. K 
Taylor Ward, purple paper, at a 250. Angel's doing a lot of work in the offseason. They got Ian Kinsler. They got a veteran presence at second base. That should be pretty strong to he'll probably lead off, right? So Angel's making a big splash in the offseason. Good for them. They got pretty close to the playoffs last year, so they're making a big move. There's Trevor Clifton. Saw his printing plate earlier. That blue chrome will go to Daniel out of 200. Daniel has the Cubs, of course. There's D. Gordon's brother. And a beat up Otani, says Nick LaPlante. Although, from my understanding, those grade one UCL sprains are apparently A, pretty common, and B, not that serious. So. All right, and we've got Paven Smith for the Snakes. Josh Proust with the Diamondbacks. Nice chrome auto. Blue Chrome Auto, 70th Chrome Auto, 66 out of 70. And he's seventh overall in 2017. What? Illuminati right there. Nice. We've got some gold paper, Glenn Otto. Eight out of 50 on that Glenn Otto. Gold paper, that is for Mike Kuntz and the Yanks. And there you have it. Halfway there. Next box. I suppose they have to do something. The Angels have to do something about Albert Pujols, but I don't think he's. I don't think he's going anywhere. All right. So the latest news that I'm seeing, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, Astros signing Joe Smith. Cardinals acquired Marcelo Zuna. Nationals to re-sign Brandon Kinsler. Twins to sign Fernando Rodney. A's got Steven Piscotti. Cubs got uh, Steven. Or uh, Steve Chizik, or Chizik. And uh, several teams making offers for Manny Machado. The, the Orioles are listening to offers for Manny Machado. I don't think, I think it's going to take a lot to get him, but we'll see. Eddie Ricky, what's going on? He needed, needed that validation. He <laughs> needed me to say hello. Hello. Sup, man. And uh, Cardinal signing Luke Gregerson. Mariner signing Juan Nicasio. So that's that's what's happening. Do you think do you guys think that uh, Machado will get traded? Think that'll actually happen? I feel like the Orioles will never do a full rebuild, right? They have, they have had many opportunities to do a full full rebuild, but they never seem like they actually do it. But if they move Machado, they may as well move Adam Jones. They may as well move. Uh, they may as well move uh, Zach Britton. They may as well move, move everybody. But yeah, Eddie doesn't think so. Noah says best third baseman. Yeah, he's pretty good. He can play shortstop too. He's he's an above average shortstop. If they some a team want to move him there. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, third box, second to last box, folks. Good luck.
Chris Rasaisi for the Rangers. Uh, you missed a Paven Smith autograph, Gabe. Seventh overall pick for the Diamondbacks. That was the big one. Nice late first rounder for the Rangers. That'll go to Ed Aarons. Noah says they should not trade Manny Machado. Then what should they do? What can they do? Kyle Wright. Nice, out of 499. Oh, we also got a Kyle Wright autograph too. Gabe. That was a nice one. He's fifth overall pick. What what do the Orioles do to compete with the Yankees? Blue Jays, Red Sox. All those teams are looking to retool. So do the do the Orioles just keep Machado and then just end up losing him to free agency? Out of 399? No, Noah says bench him. Good thing he's not the manager of the uh, Orioles. But I mean seriously though, what what can you The Orioles have to consider moving him to get something out of him. Otherwise, he just becomes an unrestricted free agent and that's that. You know, it becomes an unrestricted free agent, then you get nothing for him. Maybe a compensatory pick. I forget how that how those work. Maybe they have to make a qualifying offer and then they can get a first round pick for the team that signs him or something like that. MJ Melendez, blue chrome for the Royals out of 150. The Royals are kind of rebuilding too. Daniel F with that one. Yeah, from what I understand, the Orioles are looking for the Orioles are looking for a lot, with 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 good reason. It's Manny Machado, but I think they're looking for like two top pitching prospects and maybe maybe an everyday position player or something like that. There's Ryan Vallad. At 399. I mean, basically, the Orioles have to get someone where they can say, hey, look, this guy could be a future star like Manny Machado. Like, that's what they have to be able to sell to their fans, no matter what they do. Oh, Hub City, someone, you got your identity stolen? There's David Peterson. Hopefully, that works out. Man, I, that sucks. A lot of that happens during the holiday season. Team Pro says trade him to the Giants. What can the Giants give? What can the Giants give to the Orioles? 97 out of 150, David Peterson. I don't know if the Giants farm system is strong as some of the other clubs that are in that are in the mix. I've heard I heard White Sox. The White Sox do have a lot of young prospects. They could use a third baseman to anchor that side of the infield. Nate Pearson, so David Peterson and Nate Pearson. Green Chrome for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Joe Fagundis, 80 out of 99. I like Michael Conforto, Noah. I think, I think if he's given the opportunities... Still pretty young. Still can make a big impact on the team. Mets would love a Manny Machado. It'd be nice if they didn't have that David Wright contract to pay. Uh, I don't know if Manny Machado could be traded to the Giants, but J.D. Martinez would be a good move for the Giants, I think. There's Brent Rooker. Brent Rooker going to the Twins. Nick LaPlante with another autograph. Giants need that home run power. That's all the uh, Red Sox also need that home run power too. They're trying to go for JD Martinez as well. I think the Red Sox may have been last in the AL in home runs. 
I think Giants are among the last bottom teams in baseball as well. And with baseball heading towards that, it's like basketball. I'm watching the basketball game right now, the Cavs-Lakers game. It's like basketball. Small guards. It's like small lineups, guard play, three-point shots. That's like the that's how the game has evolved. That Evan White goes to Joe John to the Mariners. And just paper at the end. And so, like the way baseball is going with launch angles and, and the way players are changing their swings and whatnot, a lot more home run driven. So you do need that power hitter in the lineup, at least somebody. J.D. Martinez could help the Red Sox, could help the Giants. Um, Cardinals, Cardinals need some home run hitting too. Some other news, according to MLBTradeRumors.com, Braves don't seem to have interest in bringing back uh, Brandon Phillips, according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Mets are still looking for help at second base, but they're not really close on anything. Let's see what else is going on. Yeah, that, that was the big news of the week. Hub City Yankees did indeed make the deal for Giancarlo Stanton. Could the Nationals be a contender? They're a dark horse candidate for J.D. Martinez. Jacoby, uh, Jacoby Ellsbury mentioned in trade talks between the Yankees and Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks trying to shed that Zach Granke contract. I don't know who's going to take Zach Granke. But I think Zach Granke represents like a third or something like that of, of the of the payroll. That's just that's just not sustainable. All right. Last box. Good luck, folks. Three more autographs to go. And well there's a there's a hat giveaway, courtesy of TJ, who needs some Red Sox before this break is through. There's Mark Vientos. For the Metropolitans, that will be for Darren McKenzie. At a two fifty purple chrome. Paper. We have the second half of this case in the store right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com, so be sure to check that out. A lot of monster hits out of here. Great prospecting product. So if you like uh, if you like prospecting. Eloy Jimenez for the South Siders, 106 out of 399. For the White Sox, that'll be for Daniel F. Formerly with the North Siders. Corbin Martin paper out of 499 for the Astros. That'll go to Brian Matoy. There you go, Brian. A little something. <laughs> Noah saying, yo, let's go. Super fracture time. I know. With the way this break started, I felt like there was like a super fracture would be inevitable, right? So I'll have that so I'll have two stacks to go. Two ninety five out of four ninety nine. Cole Brennan for the Red Sox. A little something for TJ. Needs a little more than that though. Come on.
And nice, Mackenzie Gore. That's a great one for the Padres. That'll be for Daniel F. That is strong. He is your third overall pick. Nice one for the Padres. TJ Friedel for the Cincinnati Redlegs. That'll be for Daniel as well at a 250. And the last stack here. Good luck. Riley Pint out of 150. Now, TJ, he looks to me for the news to be confirmed. I appreciate that. Riley Pint, he was a high round draft pick. Daniel, fourth overall back in 2016. More paper. Kevin Smith. We're still looking for a third autograph. There's Kevin Smith. Blue Jays. Out of $3.99. That'll go to Joe Fagundis. Wow, there it is. Noah, the Super Fractor. There it is right here. Franklin Cologne, one of one for the Philadelphia Phillies. What a what a break. We were just saying, just a few moments, not, not a moment ago, we were saying, hey, with the way this case has started, with the way this break started, a Super Fractor seems inevitable. And there it is. Rich Schmidt with the Phillies, one of one, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! Todd, there's your first Super Fractor that you've seen pulled live. Wow. And the Royce Lewis autographs. And this has been quite a break. And the last autograph is a refractor auto, Corbin Martin for the Astros. Strohs going to Daniel F. out of 499. And there you have it, folks. Wow. We are all witnesses. We are all witnesses to this magic. All right, TJ, our longtime regular, has been nice enough to uh, throw in this hat. He went to the winter meetings, got this hat. Here, I'll show it to you in color. It's pretty great. It's pretty festive. There it is right there. So everybody on this list has a chance to get that hat. So let's get some dice. Let's get a blank list. Thank you again, TJ. I appreciate you giving that away. Josh, down to Joe. Let's roll the dice. Name on top. Four and a six. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth and final time. It goes to Chad. There you go, Chad. That winter meetings hat right there. There it is. Off to you. I'll be emailing you, put you in touch with TJ, etc., etc. Thanks, folks. Uh, Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. That was break number 15. The second half is in the store. This has been a great first half. This could be a hot case. Check it out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everyone. Thanks again, TJ. Bye, everyone.